Hey guys, welcome to the gameplay portion of the guide. I'm just going to quickly go over my skill bar here. On Q, we have Shadow Imbuement. This buffs our weapon. Whoever we kill will explode, dealing AoE damage. On our W, we have Dash, which is our mobility. On our E, we have Smoke Grenade, which stuns an enemy for about 4 seconds. Uh, and we do 15% more damage to them. This is also uh, will not work against bosses, but does work against elites. On our R, we have a placeholder. This will be your ultimate, which will be with this build Shadow Clone. But since I'm on the beta, I'm level capped at 20, so I cannot get the Shadow Clone, so I will not be using it in this uh, run. For our left click, we have Puncture, which gives a vulnerability to whoever you hit with two out of three blades. And with our right click, we have Flurry, which is the focal point of this build. Now, if you want a full explanation, that'll be at the end of the video with the skill tree and everything. Um, but the basic combo that you want to do here is left click, right click, right click. So we want to just keep doing Puncture to vulnerable someone followed by two flurries, okay? So keep that in mind, and let's go. So we can use our dash to get to places faster. When we see a clump of mobs, we'll poison our weapon. We can daze them, and then left click, right click, right click, and you can see everything just kind of explodes. And this is really due to the flurry AOE ability, which kind of carries the build. The first time you flurry, you're going to make everyone vulnerable, and the second time you flurry, everyone is hopefully going to die because they're all taking 20% extra damage. Whenever you see an elite, you can just grenade them. It stuns them for 4 seconds, which makes them super easy pickings. And also, you don't have to worry too much about the survivability, uh, especially in the early game, because uh, flurry also life steals off of anyone that's vulnerable, and as you can see, uh, the first flurry that we do makes everyone around us vulnerable, which means we're also going to be life stealing a lot. So that combined with your potions should be more than enough to sustain. And you can see we have very good clear speed here. Um, not to mention that we're dazing, we're stunning every single elite that we come across with the smoke grenades. So good survivability, great AoE damage, uh, good mobility as well with the dash. Uh, the only kind of downside to this build is you do have a little bit of... Uh, a little bit lower single target damage so if i was trying to kill some bosses it might take me a little bit longer but overall just an incredibly solid build with a legendary aspect that is guaranteed uh, that's a very big part you do not have to you know actually find it through an item drop it is guaranteed through the dungeon system so you can always get it really early on in the game which makes this build extremely extremely reliable um, in the early game and as you can see we're just cruising through everything it's very easy very solid very nice all right hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the full explanation Hey guys, fan back again. Today I wanted to show you guys the best early game starting build, super beginner friendly for Rogue. It's going to be a Rogue melee build and we're going to be focusing on the imprinted aspect Flurry. Now Flurry damages enemies in a circle around you and deals more damage, 8% more damage. Now this is very, very important and it's the best way to start Rogue in my opinion because of one reason. Early on in the game, you have to do the specialization quest in order to unlock your class's specialization. These are going to be different for every single class. For a rogue, you get this at level 15, and you have to do a quest in order to unlock it. Now, this quest is going to bring you into a dungeon called Forsaken Quarry, which is the dungeon right here on this map. So you're going to have to go here to unlock your specialization. And the best part about this is the... Forsaken Quarry Dungeon, once you complete it, also unlocks the legendary power for Flurry, Aspect of Encircling Blades. You can see it says, once you complete Forsaken Quarry, you get this for free. So essentially, this is going to be a guaranteed legendary power that you get no matter what, that you will always have like around level 15 of the campaign, right? It's the only and the first uh, well, it's not the only, but it's the first guaranteed legendary power. And legendary powers make your build so much stronger, which is why 
this is going to be the best for the early game. Now let's go into the build real quick. It's a super simple build. I'm sure anyone can pick it up very quickly. We're going to start with puncturing, uh, puncture combined with enhanced puncture and fundamental puncture. So what this does is it makes it so anyone you're hitting with puncture is vulnerable. And that will be important because first of all, on bosses, you can basically just keep keep them permanently vulnerable, which make them take 20% extra damage the whole time. Very nice. Uh, but also it combos well with flurry. So of course it's a flurry build. We're gonna max out flurry and Enhanced Flurry, every time you damage a vulnerable enemy, you heal for 1% of your life up to 12% every single Flurry. And the best part about this is Improved Flurry is your next option here, where if you hit anyone that's vulnerable, you make everyone vulnerable, everyone that's hit. So basically, the combination is you hit one target with Fundamental Puncture, make it vulnerable, and then you follow up with two flurries. The first flurry will make everybody vulnerable, and the second flurry will hopefully kill everything because now everything is vulnerable. And you are also healing off of all of these mobs around you because of enhanced flurry. Now, in the beta, I went three points into sturdy. If you feel like you're tanky enough, you don't need this damage reduction. You can always put them into somewhere else, some other passive that will give you more tankiness. I also put one point into a dash here. Um, and I actually took one point into smoke grenade. I think smoke grenade is a really, really good early game or just anytime you're struggling against mobs or elites, uh, you should try this out. You'd be surprised at how effective it is. It basically stuns a big part of the screen for four seconds and it works against elites, works against normal mobs. It does not work against bosses, however. So keep that in mind. And lastly, we're going to go with Shadow Imbuement. If you have more points, you can take one of the Shadow Imbuement upgrades. I think they're both good, uh, but I'm playing on beta where we're capped at level 20, so I don't have enough points to take more of those. And of course, if you're playing on Diablo 4 release, you'll have more points to take an ultimate as well. I believe Shadow Clone is the best ultimate for this Flurry build because Flurry is kind of lacking in single target damage and Shadow Clone really helps you in terms of your single target damage. So go ahead and take Shadow Clone if you make it that far as well. So that is the basic build. And if you want to see how the build plays, there will be gameplay demo attached to this video as well.